Hey, Chris here. Hope everyone's doing good. Thanks for tuning in. Just want to give you an update on this stereo shelf. I used red oak stain and sanded and stained it and then applied some Minwax finishing paste wax on there with an orbital buffer. Turned out pretty good. Does the job. Subwoofer now sits underneath. Stereo receiver there, EQ, DVD player, and the clock. Just what I wanted to do, get some more f uh, floor space in here, because I don't have a really that large of a living room. I uh, had to take the uh, Norman Laboratories Model 48s off the wall and put the ones I had out in the garage, these three-way realistic, or Optimus, I forget the STS number on them, but... I got these at the you know at the pawn shop for like twenty bucks, and I put all new woofers, mid ranges, and tweeters in them, and got them all cleaned up, tuned up, equalized out, and phew, sound good. And I put the uh, uh, Norman Lab speakers out uh, in the bedroom there. So let me get in here. Oh well, yeah, you can see I had to do some wood filling. I still have to paint some of the. Things I had in there, my other speakers I had. <laughs> Don't know what I'm going to do with those, but let's look at the speakers first, real quick. These are definitely do it yourself together. That's a Morale tweeter. It's got ferro fluid cooling on there. That's a, I believe, a Dayton Audio or Goldwood 5 inch mid range. That is a Dayton Audio 8 inch woofer. And I put a grill and some grill clamps on there. I thought it looked kind of cool. It's a ported design, which I like to I like that front firing type deal. But let's take a look at the cabinet here. I got Supergirl on. This is an old BSR. Uh, 10 band stereo frequency equalizer spectrum analyzer. It is one nice meter. This is model EQ3000. And I got this on eBay a few years ago. And it was essentially brand new. I mean, it still had everything. Not a thing wrong with it. I love this EQ. You know, back in the late 70s, early 80s. When they made stuff really, really good. At the same time, you can see the work on the cabinet. This is the Harman Kardon HK3490 stereo receiver, two channel. Rated at 120 watts per channel. This is the Dayton Audio Sub 1000 powered subwoofer with a 10 inch woofer, subwoofer on there. That is an absolute beast. It'll shake everything in this house and then some. Probably the neighbor's house too. But that thing has got 100 watts and it's more than powerful for a room like this. More than powerful. Watch a movie, you feel the movie. <laughs> That's what I like about it. But the whole idea of this stereo uh, shelf, cabinet, whatever, was for the subwoofer. You know, clean everything up, space, get everything nice and tidy, make it unique, do-it-yourself type stuff. And hopefully, it'll last a long time. All right, thanks for watching. Just wanted to show you this cabinet and hope everyone's doing good. Later.